Okay everyone, so recently most players started talking about how insane this game gets at Adventure Rank 40 and beyond. And this does affect the entire Genshin community on hold, whether you are a free-to-play player or a whale. So if you aren't yet Adventure Rank 40, I will be doing some calculations in this video to give you all a full grasp of what everyone is talking about and a realistic representation of what it means to be a free-to-play player at Adventure Rank 40 and beyond. And to keep this video short, I will be talking about moving from Adventure Rank 37 to 40 and then show you what it means to level one character at Ascension Rank 5. So after Adventure Rank 36, we had an uproar in the community because this is where all the story quests end and there is no more content. So one part of the community saw the transition from AR 37 to AR 40 as a very slow and painful experience. That has changed slightly with the new Mona quest added because new players are now looking at some entertaining content at AR38 and an extra 1675 XP. So even before the Mona quest was added, the transition from AR37 to AR40, most players who actually have been through this should realize by now that this was actually the honeymoon period in this game because they still had a whole world to explore, hundreds of chests to unlock, secrets to unfold, and dungeons to conquer. So at AR39, when you get that 8500 XP and break into AR40, the first thing you'll see is that massive spike from 8500 XP to 10500 XP. So if you are one of those players who only log on, and get that 1500 XP from your dailies and the other 600 XP from your Racine, then you're looking at 5 days to rank from AR40 to AR41. Then 41 is 6 days to get 11,500 XP. Then 42 is like a week to get 43. And if you enjoy this game and play it as much as I do, then you'll understand that this is kinda unacceptable. And this information is here not to scare anyone, but just to get you mentally prepared for AR40 because frankly most people who play this game don't care about the grind, they just care about playing the game. And with the current state of the Racine system, playing the game as much as you want is not possible as a free to play player, but even if you are paying for extra Racine with Primo Gems, you still have a capacity that you can use daily. So to show you how much time and effort it takes to level a character at Ascension Rank 5, let's look at my only 5 star character, Mona. To ascend Mona, you have to fight the Oceanid, and the most important material you need are cleansing hearts. You usually get 2 every time you beat it, so you need to do at least 6 runs. You use 40 Racine per run, so that is a total of 240 Racine. You get 1 Racine every 8 minutes, 7.5 in 1 hour, and approximately 16 8 hours. So to fight this monster once, you have to wait at least a little over 5 hours at a time. So in other words, to acquire the cleansing hearts, you will have to wait at least 30 hours or 2 days. And this is only if you play without manually refilling your Racine. After you acquire all the materials, you need $100,000 to ascend her and a total of 70 heroes with to get her to level 80. If you don't have those, you can get those by various means, but the fastest way is at the Blossom of Revelation. These ley lines usually give either 3 or 4 at a time, but to keep things simple we'll use 4 per run, which is equivalent to roughly 17 runs. Multiply that by 20 Racine, and we have 340 in total. We know we get 60 Racine 8 hours at a time, so let's round it off and use 6. And we are looking at another 48 hours just to get the hero's wit. This is already 4 days just to get some upgrade materials for one character, but we are still not done yet. Now you need more. At Ascension Rank 5, you use 7 heroes wit per level and 28,000 more. So 10 levels would cost 280,000 Mora. The good thing about world level is that at level 5 you get 52,000 per run. So you can get this in 6 runs at 20 Racine a pop which would be equivalent to 1 day. 
So the conclusion is that to ascend Mona at Ascension rank 5 takes approximately 5 days as a free to play player in the game's current state. This is why people start using their primo gems to get more playtime so they can get more done. So what you should take from this is that if you are a free to play player and think that you'll be able to max out all of your current characters, that is kind of naive and very unrealistic at least at the moment. All you need are 8 characters for the Spiral Abyss and slowly progress them until they get where they need to. And that was just the attributes ascension. We can talk about the weapons, the artifacts and talents. And trust me, at AR40, you get access to dungeons with level 5 artifacts and these are heavy with RNG because you can go in with all your Racine and come out without a level 5 artifact which really sucks. So now that we know how insane the grind gets at Adventure Rank 40, let's look at some possible changes that can make this game far better than it is right now. So first, Mihoyo thought that to fix the Racine system all they needed to do was raise the cap to 160. People said that this is not enough, but that was not the fix in the first place. They need to reduce the recharge time by at least half this will still cause people to progress slow and take breaks off their servers, but at least it will be more satisfactory because us console and PC players won't feel like we're playing a mobile game. Next, they should respawn the chest at least half a month like they did with the Spiral Abyss. This would encourage players to explore more and it would help with leveling characters and artifacts, but I guess this might be too much to ask for. Thirdly, they should increase the daily rewards at least by adventure rank. Currently the rewards suck, free to play players want more primo gems to make wishes because if they save the 60 they get from daily commissions, that's one wish every 3 days rather than one wish a day. But I guess the way they see it is that if they give us more wishes then it would encourage us to spend less. Next, they should increase the rewards on the achievement system. Those also suck and some of them are really difficult, but I'm sure if they had better rewards, people would be more likely to do them. The next thing is that if they don't make chests respawn, maybe they should give us free to play players at least a little XP for farming these monsters in the guild book. It wouldn't be so bad if these monsters spawn infinitely, but because they don't, I only think it's fair. Lastly, and this is the biggest one yet, I think they should give people an alternative to unlock the constellation of characters they already have. Currently the only way to do this is through the wish system and I don't think that's fair for free to play players or as a free to play game. And I don't think I'll ever see my Mona be used at maximum potential because of this. So this is basically what our lives will be like at Adventuring 40 and above everyone. Let me know if you agree with my list of changes, thanks for stopping by and good luck on your adventure.